In this video, we're going to focus on key and data structures in TreeMap chart for Chart.js plugin. And this is part seven. And what is very important here is because so far you've maybe seen this here and you might say, well, we have a problem. How can we do this easily? Well, there are some other ideas as well. And one of them is the key and the data structures that we should explore as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus first on the standards and eventually in the other videos, I'll go deeper and deeper. So let's scroll down. And so far we have this here, but what I want to do now is I want to change this tree data into a data structure. And data structures are very, very useful and powerful in Chart.js. And if you have not experienced uh, how to use them in, for example, a line chart or a bar chart, I highly recommend you to explore that as well. I have videos for that. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in here something else. So let's say we have another item which is called value or uh, let's say here sales and this sales will be 12 and put a comma here and then I have another item which will be cost and the cost will be 3 put a comma here and I'm going to paste this a few more times all right and I'm going to change now some of the numbers so let's put in here uh, 15 80 21 24 27 and 30 so for the others, I'm going to put in here three, and I will say one, two, three, then one, two, three. So if I save this and refresh, of course nothing happens because it doesn't recognize anymore the structure we have. So what we need to assign now is the key, and the key would indicate what item will we use as our leading variable. So I'm going to scroll down here, and what we're going to do here is just here under the labels, comma, and then we're going to say a key, and this key would be whatever the value would be. This is the key here. So let's say sales or cost. Let's put in here sales. Save that and refresh. And as you can see here now, what is happening, the values are matching, or at least the values here are now updated. But at the same time, I'm going to copy this and put in this here, cost. Save that, refresh. And you can see here now, what is happening, it converts it. Of course here, because of our formula here, probably it becomes too, too light, we're below zero, and then it's uh, probably transparent. So we're going to scroll that, maybe we can change here, we can do this maybe divide by two, if I save that, slightly, divide by one, I'm not sure if that will work, not as well, all right, anyway, doesn't matter, this we can eventually solve, but let's put in here back, we can do this, let's do sales again, save that, refresh. Now, as you can see here now, it will start to recalculate put it in here and of course not only with numbers we could also do text but the text cannot be a key for here but eventually a value within this item here but I will show you that in the next video 